There are two common problems with Phalaenopsis orchids, root rot and crown rot. Root rot is the result of watering too often and is easily prevented by following my watering procedures. I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. Crown rot is also easily prevented. In this video, I'll tell you how to prevent it, show you what it looks like so you can identify the problem, and show you how to save your orchid if you do get this disease. Phalaenopsis orchids, or fowls for short, are the common orchid grown as houseplants. They are a great orchid, but suffer from one problem. The leaves join together, forming a kind of cup, and that cup holds water. In nature, these plants grow on trees with the leaves pointing down, which allows water to drain out of the plant. When grown upright in pots, this cup can become a problem. Crown rot happens when water sits in the cup long enough for bacteria to grow. They cause the leaves to rot, and if not detected and treated early enough, this will kill your orchid. The problem is easily prevented. When watering, make sure no water gets trapped inside the leaves. If it does, use a paper towel and soak out the water. How do you detect crown rot? One of the first things you will notice is that the top leaf will start going yellow. You may also see some discolored softer tissue, as in this picture. If the bottom leaves turn yellow, don't be concerned. It is not a sign of crown rot. Orchids naturally lose lower leaves as they grow new top ones. Within a few days, the yellow leaves get mushy and fall off. The crown rot now progresses further down the stem, and more leaves get yellow and fall off. This shows an extreme case where the last leaf is ready to go. The disease is now so far advanced that there is only a 50-50 chance of saving this orchid. How do you stop crown rot once it starts? Act fast. As soon as you think you might have crown rot, sprinkle cinnamon into the crown. Cinnamon does two things. Firstly, it dries out the area. The bacteria that causes crown rot likes to live in a wet environment, and if things dry out, they die. Cinnamon also contains chemicals that are bactericides, and they kill bacteria. I have saved many orchids using this technique. Depending on how soon you discover the problem, you may have a few green leaves left, which is a good sign. But even if they all fall off, there is still hope for saving the plant. In this video, I'm going to show you the worst case scenario, where all the leaves fell off. The pictures are date stamped to show you the progression. Keep the plant dry, but water normally. You will see that the roots are still alive and turn green when watered. Not much will happen for a while, but inside, a dormant bud starts to grow, and eventually, it will make a new plant. It takes a bit of time for things to get started, but once you see the new leaves, they grow quite quickly because they are being fed by a very large root system. This is a close-up of the original crown. It looks ugly. But cinnamon stopped the rot. Don't do anything to the crown. It will naturally fall off in time. Here's the plant a month later. Once the plant is at this stage, it will survive. Just treat it like any orchid. I'll link to my orchid growing videos at the end of this video. Here's the plant today. It's growing well and it's flowering. Crown rot is deadly if you don't catch it early. But if you do, treat it with cinnamon and your plant will make a full recovery. Once you get the hang of it, orchids are very easy to grow. They're actually very tough plants. So just sit back and let them grow on their own. You'll enjoy them a lot more that way. Have fun with your houseplants.